What's up guys, it's C1 here, bringing you guys a quick tutorial for Tutorial Tuesdays. It's going to be over how to change your fonts and the color schemes in Sim 4D and Photoshop. So we're going to start with Cinema 4D. And I'm um, really quickly, if you hear some background noise, that's John. He is building a new PC. He got a whole bunch of parts and he's put them together right now. So to start off, we're going to go to Edit, Preferences. And from there, you're going to make sure you're on the interface tab and over to Steam and click on if you need either uh, vice versa. So if I'm on light, I'm click dark and it brings up a darker uh, graphical user interface. And if I want, I can change it back over to light. And so the next thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is you can change your font, uh, like the font throughout the whole program. Right now it's on Surio. I don't know if the G is silent, but uh, Serio UI, and we can change that once my fonts load up. Change that over. So we can change it over to Serif Media Metallic if we want. And to have this take effect, we're going to close out of the program and open it back up. And our font has changed. So now I'm going to close out of Cinema 4D. I'm going to show you guys how to do the same thing in Photoshop. So you're going to have to open up Photoshop. I have CS6. Um, you can really manage on whatever one you like. So to change it in Photoshop, you're still going to go to Edit. Scroll all the way down to Preferences. Go over and go to Interface. And you have four color schemes available. You have really dark. Um, a darker gray, a lighter gray, and then borderline white. I prefer to keep mine on borderline white. And then if you're in the standard screen mode, this one, which most people run it in, you can change your, um, hit OK, and we open up a new composition, or open up something, let's see, um, open up a banner I did yesterday. Just something different than what I normally do. It was a pretty cool little messy one. But um, you can you notice how this area around it is all gray. You can actually change the color of that by going to Edit, Preferences, Interface. And if you're in Standard Screen Mode, change your color to Custom. And you can pick a custom color. Say we wanted to have it red. Hit OK. And now you can see that the area around our file is red now. And to change it back, simply go to Preferences, Interface, and click on Default. And that sets it back. And to change your, um, you can't really change the font in um, Photoshop, but you can change the font size. Say you want medium. Yeah, okay. It doesn't really take much effect, but it's noticeable every once in a while. Um, I just keep mine on the basic. Oops. Keep mine on the basic. Um, whatever it is, small. I have pretty good vision. So one, another quick little thing I'm gonna show you guys how to do is uh, change the RAM usage in Photoshop. Not so this in Cinema 4D, but it's more noticeable in Photoshop. So when you go over to performance and it shows your available RAM. I only have 3.2 gigs available on this laptop. Um, but you can change the amount that you use. So if I wanted to put it to maybe 2500 instead of 1920, 2500 MB. So it takes up 78% of my CPU. And it'll eventually run smoother than what it normally would. Um, your cache, you don't need to worry really about that. Then, if you have extra disks, you can change it. Then, use your graphics processor, that's probably a good thing to do. So, yeah, that's how you change your schemes and stuff in Photoshop. And I also showed you guys how to change the RAM. So this has been a really quick tutorial from C1. 
and I'm out. Thanks for watching.